Hi, I'm Tanner Jackson with TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over one of our new inventory units. This is a 2021 Cimarron North Star 3 horse gooseneck. This trailer is 610 wide, 71 tall, and 19 foot on the floor. And we'll just kind of start off by showing you the stock number on this unit so you can follow it on the website if you are. This is stock number 5N200534. And again, it's a 21 Cimarron North Star, three horse gooseneck. Up here at the front of the trailer, you do have your coupler, as long as your breakaway and your chains. Underneath, you do have your spare tire and your manual jack. This manual jack can be converted into an electric or a hydraulic jack here at our service department. Coming around the tail side of this trailer, up in the nose you have this big bus window. This trailer doesn't have a living quarters, but with those big bus windows, it's real nice because you can slide them open and get kind of a nice draft in there if you were just going to stay in there for the weekend or something like that. Coming around the side of your trailer, your first door is for your front tack or your dressing room. The cool thing about having this dressing room and this uh, closet tack is it kind of gives you your own little place for your closet and store your clothes over there. Up front is fully carpeted. Up top, you'll notice it does have the framing for an air conditioner. We do this so it's real easy if you did want to eventually put an AC in here. We don't have to reframe the roof. It's already framed and we just basically install the AC in that gap right there. Right here are your bridle hooks carpeted behind your bridle hooks so they don't scratch up your material. Up top here you do have a shelf and your clothes hanging rod for storing stuff going down the road. Hanging clothes so they're not all bundled up on the floor if you're going to a rodeo or show. Down here below, we do have a 50-50 spit split boot box. Also good for storing stuff, muddy clothes, anything you could use going down the road, some feed, medicine equipment for your horses, cows, anything like that. On the way out, you will notice above me, we have upgraded to the OptiBright lights. They're real low power draw and real bright LED lights. The next door here on this tail side would be your closet tack room. The thing I like about these closet tacks is it's real nice. You're on the same side as your horses. You don't have to be walking around the rear of the trailer the whole time trying to get tack around. Here's your fold out saddle bar. It is on a piston, so it's real easy to fold in and out. Show you that again. Below your saddle bar, blanket bar, you do have your brush box. It's also good for holding, you know, mane and tail, stuff like that. Inside your closet tack, we do have three adjustable saddle posts, which are carpeted. We do have a 25 gallon water tank with a hose. This is good for keeping buckets in here or something like that. You don't have to worry about stopping trying to find water for your horses or animals. You always got water with you right there. You'll notice this tack room is fully carpeted. Up on both sides of your saddle posts, we do have bridle hooks, again with the carpeting behind them. So it doesn't scratch up your aluminum material behind there. Another thing that's really cool about this closet tack is they do put an air vent in there, which I think is real handy. 
because it can if your saddle blankets you're using them all day they can get sweaty and pretty nasty and you can open that air vent going down the road and get some good airflow going through here to dry out your stuff coming down the side of this trailer you do have a 16 inch awning light Again, right above that closet tack door can add some extra light while you're saddling your horses. You have your three big bus windows on your tail side. These do slide open and close to add for extra airflow for your horses. This trailer is sitting on two 6,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. Another thing I want to mention is these tires are nitrogen filled. You can tell they're nitrogen filled by this green cap on both tires. And what that nitrogen does is it pretty much, if you have a hot day and a cold night, it keeps that tire from contracting, expanding too much, going down the road, and you don't get those major PSI fluctuations you would with just a normal air tire. Coming around the back of this trailer, it is on 60-40 doors. Up top, you'll notice you do have your six inch awning load light. You have your brake lights. This trailer does have a butt strap versus a butt bar. On a gap this big, we like to do a butt strap versus a butt bar because a butt bar, if a horse is trying to back out, it's real hard to get that butt bar down and away from them horses quick enough before they back into it. This trailer is riding on the industry's best flooring. This is Cimarron's aluminum floor. The cool thing about this is it is built on four inch centers. So no matter where your horse is standing on this floor, they will be standing on a support. Real easy to clean this trailer. You spray your mats off, pull your mats out. You can spray that aluminum floor out, just let it dry, and this, this floor will last you forever. There are kick mats on both your rear doors. That way if you have a horse that likes to get a little rambuxance in here and do some kicking or moving around, he doesn't ding up your aluminum again. This trailer is going to last a long time the way it's set up. Coming up into the trailer, we do have your two full dividers. Or I guess your one full divider and then your stud divider. The stud divider is good. I like it because you can store hay, you can store grain up front. It makes it real easy if you got a horse again that likes to kick. You can keep them away from your other horses. You'll notice the roof of this trailer is bowed. It is bowed to help the runner water run off the roof or sitting up there rotting at your seals. Another cool thing about this roof is it is insulated. So we'll keep it 20% cooler in here. And with that insulation is what it does is it also makes it very resistant to hail. So if it ever hails, you might not get any damage on this roof. Or if you do get a little damage, it's real easy to just patch this roof versus just replacing the whole roof if it does hail. You'll notice up top there is three air vents. It's really nice to have an air vent in each stall because going down the road, you can open them up to pull fresh air in and then pull that fresh air back out to the back of the trailer. You always have fresh air coming in here. You notice along the top of this trailer, again, we do have those upgraded OptiBright lights. You can see what your horses are doing in here. You know, if you're feeding them, you need to check on them going down the road. You have a lot of light to do so. Another thing is they do put these supports, these jail bars in on your bus windows. The reason they do that is if you got kind of a taller horse where their tail head's going to hit right where that window's at, they're less likely to bust these windows and screens out with their tail heads. You will notice that the whole trailer is wrapped in these kick mats. Again, it's just keeping that aluminum from getting dinged up, making it a more comfortable, safer ride for your horses going down the road. Another thing, right here on these latches, they are plastic. The cool thing about having a plastic latch and a metal gate is metal on plastic doesn't wear as much as metal on metal does, and also that's going to make it a much more quiet ride for your horses going down the road. Kind of demonstrate it here. Real simple to latch. 
and then again that metal on plastic it's not going to wear as much as metal on metal wood and it makes it much more quiet going down the road than metal on metal clanging around and again they're just real simple to use Going around on the head side of this trailer, we do have your two drop downs for your stalls. There is a third drop down on your escape door as well. Cool thing I like about this 610 trailer is it's real easy if you need to load a horse in here and untie them before you unload them at the rodeo. It's real easy to just open these windows and jump up here and untie your horses or do whatever you need to do to them to avoid crawling in there with them if they're going to back out over the top of you. Again, these windows are just real simple to use. I'll demonstrate it again. If you're going to close the full window, I mean, they're just, they're really simple to use windows. You do have your 16 inch awning light, again, above right where you'd be saddling, makes it real easy if you're going to be saddle horses in the dark. Coming right here, this is your escape door. We do have a chest bar on this escape door to keep your horses from pushing against this door. That way they're not pushing against the door and you know bowing it out or anything like that going down the road. Another thing I like about this is it makes it real easy to pull hay out there. If you got horses loaded and you need to stop and pull hay out or grain or whatever you have going down the road and you don't have a horse in that first stall, it's real easy to just get to your stuff right there. Another cool thing I like about this setup is here maybe you can just come up here and show them the escape door does also have a drop down on it as well i like that because you know a lot of times your escape door won't have a full drop down or it might just have a bus window or something like that but it, giving that escape door the opportunity to have that full drop down is again just making it a lot more comfortable for your horses have a lot more airflow going down the road Same thing up in the nose of this trailer, Never, another big bus window. If you did want to stay in there for the weekend or something like that, and it wasn't going to be super hot, you could just open those windows and get a nice breeze rolling through there. So again, I'm Tanner Jackson with TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. We're located about 20, 25 minutes north on I-25 from Denver. If you're interested in this trailer or any of our other inventory units, please give us a call at 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in.